After losing quarterback Kurt Warner to retirement and receiver Anquan Bolden to the Ravens, a new look Arizona Cardinals offense will take to the field come week one of the NFL season. Having established himself as a legitimate threat for the Cards, Steve Breston will be a huge beneficiary now that Bolden has moved on. The fourth year receiver joins us now here on First Take. And Steve, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll talk football in a moment, but let, let's start with this other passion of yours. You are doing a fundraiser for your foundation, the Steve Breston Foundation. What exactly is it? Uh, it's a, um, we, we're doing a t-shirt. Uh, I joined uh, I joined with a great uh, t-shirt company, apparel company uh, named uh, IMU. It stands for I Miss You. Um, we, I put, uh, put a writing together about my community, and uh, he, he, he put it on a shirt. It's a very creative, in a very creative way. And uh, we're just trying to get it out there and help support the Stephen Breston Foundation of my community. So to uh, donate to the at-risk kids along the uh, North Braddock, Braddock, Pennsylvania community. And we're doing a great job with it so far. Now, you said he did something in a creative way. It's something to do with poetry, yes? Yeah, poetry. Uh, you know, that's a that's a, that's been a love of my, my life. You know, I enjoy writing, and uh, we uh, I, I wrote a poem, and you know, we have words. Uh, the words of the poem, which is uh, a product of red nose and overflowing pot face. You know, that's a uh, it, it reflects uh, me growing up in my community. The poem reflects me growing up in my community, and uh, just uh, it's it's something to give, help give back and. Uh, and I'm, I'm proud of doing it, and, uh, it, and it's great to do it with uh, IMU. And so the Red Nerds and Pop is a part of that poem <laughs> that you yourself wrote. What turned you on to poetry? Um, just uh, growing up, I started in seventh grade. You know, just, uh, you know, when a great imagination, I, uh, I, I wrote a lot of comic books also. So, uh -huh. you know, it's just, uh, I, I have a wild imagination. Just being able to get words down and express emotions that you might not be able to and, you know, and seeing everything that's going on in the world around you and just being able to bring people problems on the paper and bring your problems in the paper and showing emotion, it's a, it's a good feeling, it's a, it's a good release. Uh, poetic inspiration from comic books. Now, aside from yourself being a poet and comic books, are there any poets, <laughs> actual poets, that you personally like? Uh, one of the big ones uh, would probably be Langston Hughes, and uh, I like his poetry, and I also like his writing. You know, uh, I'm reading, uh, I'm rereading another book right now by him, and uh, it's called uh, uh, "The Ways of White Folks," and just uh, how he expresses uh, his, uh, how he just his metaphors and how he puts, uh, gets everything down on paper, and how he shows the imagery within his writing, and it's, it's, it's a, he's a great writer. How interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to keep an eye out for more of your poetry. Let's let us get into a little bit of that football game, though, the other thing you do. Uh, Matt Leiner looking to be leading the competition for starting signal caller for your squad. How has he changed as a player now that it's pretty much his job to lose? Um, he's, uh, he's, he's progressed a lot. I think uh, one thing you see with Matt now is his confidence, you know, being over there. He knows that this is his team and uh, we're going to go as far as him, as far as he goes. So he's been going out to practice. He's been making the right calls, making the right throws, and uh, I think he's ready for this upcoming season. A great talent that departed in Anquan Bolden as well. How much are you looking forward to filling that void? Uh, it's, it's very hard. I know. I understand uh, Q has taught me a lot since the day since day one I got here, and uh, he's taught me and Early a whole bunch of mm -hmm. whole bunch of stuff. So, I mean, losing him, losing a Pro Bowl player like him, it's going to be difficult to fit, uh, to fill this void. But I think we had the players and the talent around us. It's not just uh, not just me. You know, mm -hmm. we had Early, we have a, a ton of talented running backs back there, so we have to uh, fill in by committee. Uh, let's get back to some of your uh, oh your your passions and poetry, and also. Your mother had a nickname for you. She calls you the Miracle Baby. Explain that. <laughs> um, that is, it's crazy. Um, she, she uh, after after my brother was born, she had got her tubes tied. So uh, uh, she wasn't expecting no more. Uh, she wasn't expecting to be pregnant. And you know, a couple years later, she ended up getting pregnant. Uh, she ended up going to the doctors, and she didn't know what was wrong with her. She said, uh, and so she walked in. And she found out she was pregnant. She's like, I can't be pregnant. I got my tooth to have this. This can't be happening. <laughs> so it was, it was, it was, it was funny. You know, my aunts were crying, and one of my aunts was eating. You know, it was just, it was pandemonium. But uh, 
I mean, it's 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 fun. It's it's crazy how life works, and you know, I'm here today, and I'm I'm blessed to be here. Absolutely, you weren't supposed to originally be here in their minds, but you have been tearing up the scene since you got on board. Uh, finally, got to talk to you. Uh, perhaps, well, uh, perhaps we know that you were at uh, your former Michigan Wolverine alums' uh, basketball camp, Brendan Edwards, where our Rob Parker got posterized by Brett Petway. It looked pretty bad <laughs> on tape. How was it in person? Um, it was it was pretty bad in person. I mean, uh, <laughs> it was a uh, pretty way he came down the came down the lane. And just I didn't even see him. He, he, I don't know why he stepped up. You know they brought the stretcher out and put him in the uh, paramedics. It was, it was it was a difficult time for him. How sad is that on a stretcher? Uh, we of course Rob is here today. You have any message for him after looking so sad, so so sad? Let's just keep his head up. You know, just in better times. <laughs> <laughs> See, I won't try to play defense. <laughs> you took the, you would have took the charge. You stepped in there. Most people want to step in there. <laughs> Steve Preston, thank you so much. It has been an absolute pleasure chatting with you. And I tell you what, I hope you put a book together of your poetry because I'll definitely go and buy that. Uh, I'm trying to get that together. You know, it's uh, I, I enjoy writing. I hope to get it out there to y'all. And just make sure you go to IMU, theinsideout.com. And make sure you purchase uh, this shirt. You know, it benefits my community, and, and I just I just want to get that out there. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Best of luck as uh, well as camp nears and, of course, the season. Good luck. Thanks, Steve. Uh, uh, thanks for having me.